Hey, I'm Mitch Richmond, and this is Run TMC. Chris Mullen was there first, and um, we hit it off right away. Uh, time I got there, me, him, and uh, and Rod Higgins was all would, would always work out together. So it kind of really kind of improved my game because I was a guy that was trying to get to the rim at every play possible. I wanted to try to dunk or get an and one or get to the free throw line. I was just always attacking the rim. Uh, and I remember Rod told me that, hey man, you, you got to start working on your outside game a little bit, man. You're going to beat yourself up. You're not going to make it five years if you don't, if you keep it playing like that. And, uh, and so, yeah, I just worked on my game. And then all of a sudden, uh, Tim Hardaway came. I can remember Don Nelson was watching film on him. And he was like, hey, what do you, you call me in the room? What do you think about this guy? And I'm like, man, he's really, really good. I thought when I first saw him on tape, I thought Tim was about 6'5", because how he played and how aggressive he was and how, you know, how, how, how in charge he was on the court. Uh, so, but when, so when we drafted him and I got a chance to see him, I'm like, man, I didn't know you was that small. But he had a heart of a lion. And uh, from day one, when we got in, in the gym, man, we just clicked right away. Right away, we clicked. Uh, it was, you know, three people coming from uh, different parts of the world. Uh, but everyone was kind of work, really working together. And, and us three together was very potent. Uh, it was just really fun to, 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 to actually play and, and actually really fun to watch because I go back and, and watch a lot of our tapes. Richmond with a beautiful pass from Hardaway. Well, it, it worked because, you know, uh, first of all, you had two guys that uh, that was quiet leaders, and it was probably me and, and Mully, and then you had Tim that was a loud leader, and he was the point guard. I mean, he was the guy that was kind of engineering everything because he could get to any place he possibly wanted on the court. Uh, but the thing about Tim was he can really score the basketball, but he was also a great passer. So you had that that ability for, from Tim Hardaway. Me, I was a guy that was was I like to play inside. I like to to, 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 to I like the physical play. I like to defend. Um, I like to go up and down the court and just and I was a, I like to play physical. And so that was my thing. I wanted to post up a lot. And then you had Chris Mullen was the guy that was on the perimeter. Uh, that was probably one of the purest shooters that ever played a game. Uh, a guy that really kind of knew how to, that he had to master how to get his shot off because he wasn't that quick. Uh, so he had to, 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 to find ways and, and find really kind of, uh, find the ability to really kind of get his shot off when guys was t uh, taller than him and also when guys was faster than him. And most guys was pretty much faster than him. But he had a he had a, a uncanny te technique of of really kind of getting his shot and and getting down the court and never stop moving. He was always moving. So whoever was guarding him, we knew that was going to be dead tired uh, because he he continued to move. And and all of that came together because we knew. I, I remember one day when Don Nelson say, "Listen, uh, Tim is going to be the the captain." He's going to be the, the quarterback. And whenever anybody gets the rebound, give it to Tim and just run the court. He will find you. So Tim is going to quarterback. And you guys, I want you guys on the wing. I don't care what wing. Both of you guys get on the wing and run. And, and that's what we did. Hardaway. What a move. Oh, did he explode and it goes. Well, Nelly was, uh, I, I, I said Nelly was a really uh, good basketball mind. And uh, we played the San Antonio Spurs. They had David Robson. They had that great team down there. Uh, Larry Brown was actually coaching it. And uh, Don Nelson, you know, he, he always had confidence that he was going to, and it was some little wrinkle that he was going to come up with to kind of uh, really kind of uh, get you uh, off your game. And so... Uh, I can remember we played San Antonio in the first game down there, and uh, we got beat. And uh, so we went in the locker room and we were waiting for Nelly to come in. And Nelly uh, came in the room and said, "I got something. We're gonna we're gonna win this series. I got it." 
He said, we're going to win this series. I want you guys to get your rest. I'm, I, I got it. Just tomorrow, we're going to meet in the hotel. And I got, I got what we're going to, what we, how we're going to play and how we're going to win this game. But you, Mitch, and Tim, you guys got to play a little bit better defense because I think Rod Strickland had 30 that game. And I think Willie Anderson had 30. And so he said, you guys got to play a little bit better defense, but we're going to win this series. And I, and I got it. So we were confident. Like we, we went out of that locker room like, okay, you know, we had the confidence in Nelly that he was going to come up with some wrinkle. And the wrinkle was we, he put Rod Higgins at center. So that was the, the, the way we, we ended up uh, winning four straight games uh, after that loss against San Antonio. Here goes Mullen. Draws the crowd all the way to the basket. Got it! It's all over! The Warriors are going to the Western Conference semifinals! And then we uh, we played the Lakers. And we felt like we could we could match up with the Lakers. Uh, well, we, we felt that we couldn't match up with them, but we had to outrun them. And this is the team that there was a Showtime Lakers, and nobody can outrun the Lakers. I mean, these guys ran with Magic Johnson. And so I think they uh, we, we they beat the, beat us the first game uh, down in L.A. And then the second game, Mully had a, a career night. I think he had 44. Uh, was unstoppable. And uh, we we felt that, hey, man, we, we can win this series. We just got to play our best. We got to be at our best. And then we go back to Golden State and and run DMC open for us. And we pretty sh- we, we probably shouldn't have had run DMC open for us so early. Maybe we should have waited a little later. Uh, but run DMC open for us, and we could just see the Lakers down there. Oh, my God. They, they were ready. Uh, we played some good games down there, but the Lakers just over time, they, uh, they kind of wore on us. They were bigger. Um, they were a little older, but uh, they, they, and they, were running, they were running better than we were. So uh, they ended up winning that series. Oh my God! Well, we'll, we'll fit right in because we, we were we were doing it, but we we were doing it a little bit more movement. The Warriors, the Warriors, before they got KD, uh, how they moved the ball and how they moved their bodies, we were doing that that type of play. Uh, the difference was that those guys was uh, shooting threes. They were shooting more threes than we were, and I, I think it's just like anything, you know, when. Uh, you would have, we, we would adapt. Uh, we all shot threes. We all shot threes at a high rate. I mean, well, at a good number. But I, I can remember playing uh, throughout my career, and if I shot five or six threes, sometime I'm like, man, that's too many threes. I got to go to the hole. You know what I mean? Now these guys are shooting 16 to 18 threes a game, sometimes. So, um, and I'm talking about one guy, <laughs> you know. So I can remember the one time when J.R. Smith shot 23 threes in a game. I mean, that, that's that's unheard of. Like you know, so I, I think when, when we you asked that question way back when, what would you change if you go back? I, I think one of those things that I will all, I always think about is like I wish I would have shot more. You know what I mean? I, sh- I wish I would have shot more. <laughs> Here comes Hardaway on the wing to Richmond. The pull up, got it. He's automatic tonight. <laughs> 